Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Meg Turney. Animal News! Aww. Hey Lee, I heard you guys like puppies around here. Hell yeah we do. It's kind of our thing. Why? You got a puppy? Yes I do. Her name is Mrs. Pennyapple. She's a miniature dachshund. She's so cute. Oh, look she at her little ears. ears. Look at me. And she gets uh, her paws. She's so All right, cute. okay, okay. <laughs> I think we can both agree that dogs are pretty great, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, a new study has found that children who grow up with a dog present in their home are less likely to develop RSV, a common childhood virus which can lead to asthma. Researchers believe an early exposure to a bacteria found in dogs actually changes a baby's gutty works, and it's this transformation that sets the tone for how a baby's insides will respond to the outside world for the rest of its life. Neil Wagner writes, early exposure and colonization by beneficial bacteria may lead to generally calmer immune response to many potential allergens commonly present in the environment. Not to mention the responsibility that having to take care of a puppy teaches kids. Exactly. This is why I'm proposing a free puppy with every baby. It's just like we'll have like a box of them in the hospital. Yeah. Oh, good call. I love that. No cats though. No. No. No cats. No. And I know what you're thinking, why no cats? They're just as cute as dogs and their little paws and their cute little tails and their But cats are deadly. Yeah, it turns out cats can actually increase the risk of suicide among women. What? I know. According to a new study, a small percentage of suicide attempts may be linked to an infection that starts in litter boxes. The Toxoplasma gondii bacteria is fairly common and it's found in the fecal matter of cats, which is why women who are pregnant are told not to clean out their cat's litter boxes. A T. gondii infection weakens the victim's immune system and can lead to fever, blurred vision, and even seizures. It's also linked to schizophrenia and now an increased suicide risk among women. However, researchers involved in the study were quick to point out about one third of the population has a latent T. gondii infection lurking in their system just waiting to strike, and that most will never know that they have it, let alone get sick from it. There will have to be many more studies done to confirm that this bacteria is a serious contributing factor to these mental illnesses, but it does give a whole new meaning to crazy cat lady, am I right? So don't go throwing out your furry little karma machine just yet. Just be careful when handling the litter box. And to be on the safe side, you could, I don't know, get a dog? Yeah, just get a dog. <laughs> Seriously. So are you a cat person or a dog person and why? Let us know in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to click on that like and subscribe button. Click on the annotation down below. Go to sourcebed.com for our five daily stories and every other story we've ever done. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Meg Turney. I'm a dog person. Dog person. Yay!